hell in the beginning we felt like we was meant to be i fell for you and skinned my knee but hell with any injury eventually you'll get up gingerly feels like it'll take a century to heal what's up ladies and gentlemen you back with another video and i've been gone for a few days but um, i wanted to have a conversation with you guys because really uh after hearing chloroseptic remix there's a lot of people that think eminem is going to come out with a new album and not just a new album but soon and i can agree with this i just wanted to have a conversation about what you guys thought his next route would be because it would be his 10th studio album um i'm pretty sure correct me if i'm wrong but so what is he gonna do he already talked about how revival was hard because it's like you're you already painted your picture and then you have to do something that you haven't done so like i can understand that part but if he's going to make a new album what direction do you guys think he will go and leave that in the comment section but i'm going to tell you guys what i think personally he will do um after hearing chloroseptic remix he sounded a lot like slim shady with the way he rapped um like i know he says all the time eminem slim shady Mar marshall mathers they're all the same thing he, it's all the same thing that's what he said but there is a difference if you if you ask me because and you can ask a lot of people i think they would feel the same because slim shady he's just nuts and he he talks about random like crazy things and most of the time messed up eminem you know sometimes messed up stuff but it's like more real life stuff same with when he tries to rap like Marshall Mathers, whatever and i mean don't get me wrong I like Eminem when he raps like Eminem Marshall Mathers, if that makes sense. But I've always loved Slim Shady the most. I love that alter ego that he has. Um, and I just was thinking to myself after listening to that. I think he will come out with Slim Shady LP too. And I know that's kind of like a huge statement to make. But with... What he was rapping about, he has to get something off his chest. And that's most of the time what he did on the Slim Shady LP was maybe him talking about random things like uh, if you listen to the song My Fault off there, that was just like random stuff, but kind of just funny. Um, but then there was also tracks like Rock Bottom where he talked about real life stuff and how if you want to go that low and steal and kill, that's rock bottom. And stuff like that, just like his struggles. And I feel like with this past with this past album, he did put some Slim Shady on it, but I think the album was kind of like he was trying to do something for everybody. And like obviously I don't have a problem with that. But I don't think he put enough songs on the album that were like where he just went and tried to kill it. Um and I, I really don't think he did that on very many, like maybe one or two on that. So I think that personally, I I feel he will go to Slim Shady LP2 and he will bring us what we want, which is Slim Shady. And he has stuff to get off of his chest, like I already said. And so that would make sense to me. And I think that he did a very good job. One of my favorite albums is the Marshall Mathers LP2. And probably, obviously, I think that Marshall Mathers LP1 was my favorite out of those two. But I do think that MMLP2 was amazing because he based it off of the first one. And it's not just like he didn't just call it that name for no reason. And which he had like stand two on bad guy. Um, and I think just the way he rapped on the album reminded me, the beats reminded me of something he would use back in the day. Maybe it wasn't all Dre production. Maybe it was some Eminem production. But you know, I, I saw a lot of similarities there and I loved the Marshall Mathers LP too. But so that's why I think him and Dr. Dre are gonna get in the studio and they're gonna get working on this new album and they're gonna make as many mean killer beats as they can because Eminem has to get something off his chest. And I was actually watching a video, um, a review about Chloroseptic by Dead End Hip Hop. Um, 
Uh, if you guys haven't seen them, they're a YouTube channel. They're kind of like just a group of guys and they talk about it, different uh, things like that. And one of them said, he said, first, I don't know why Eminem has to be hated to come out and rap like he did on Forest Septic, which I can agree with that. But then he was also saying like, the production wasn't as good, which on Revival, and I can somewhat agree with that. If I I went back and I checked out those other albums and I was like, yeah, the production isn't as good. But one of the main points that he made was the fact that Eminem really can out rap anybody still. He just didn't choose to do it. And don't get me wrong, I liked Revival. I mean, I, I love it. I think that he went to a different place which what he was trying to do and he really brought us it was almost like a greatest hits album but not greatest hits if you know what I mean like he was just trying to bring in what everybody loved on the album but with the Slim Shady LP 2 I think he would bring back a lot of memories and this is another thing the guy said off Dead End, Dead End Hip Hop he said when Eminem made Chloroseptic Remix I think Dr. Dre came in the studio and said bro this isn't gonna work like get in there and prove them wrong and you know M just agreed to it and I can uh, totally agree with that I feel like for that remix Dr. Dre came in that studio and he says look we got to get to working again and that's why um I think they're gonna come out with that now another thing is Dr. Dre d did mix some of the songs on Revival and he made he co-produce some of the beats and stuff maybe even fully produced i don't know all the facts but he did that but eminem was saying dre was on a break and he didn't really get to help as much until the end of the process so that's where i'm getting at like maybe dre's coming back to the game because um they just asked dre the other day and they okay they're saying uh something about like are we ever gonna get that album i forget the name of it put it in the comments but um, the one that Dr. Dre said he was gonna put out and he never did and everybody's like freaking out over it They said are you gonna make it and he said uh, I don't know like he he said maybe That's not exactly what he said, but like I'm just going off the top of my head He's he never said no, but that just proves that Dre's back in the studio and with that I think him and Eminem go back in the studio and They get to working again and they get the feels of the Slim Shady LP I think that would be super dope and that's one way Eminem could come back and just kill eight or nine tracks out of the how many's on it um, and I think Eminem personally he hasn't lost a step he chose to do what he did on revival because he just wanted to take it to a different area but anyways guys I've talked a lot in this but let me know what you guys think if you think that they're actually gonna make the Slim Shady LP too or if they're just going to make a whole different album. I, this is just like a guess that I'm making, um, kind of something that I just want to see. Uh, not so much something that's been put out there. I just, you know, thought that that would make a lot of sense. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.